Yo, 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 what's up? Alexis G in the house again today. Today I have a little different kind of a demo. It's a demo of my uh, 90s Guild Bluesbird. I believe this was made by Fender after uh, Fender bought Guild. Um, so I believe it was made in California. Um, the reason I was attracted to this guitar, obviously, is the uh, beautiful um, violin burst uh, flame top, which is awesome. And another thing is the big fat neck. So I'm selling this guitar and... Um, let me tell you a little bit about it specifically. This guitar came with a set of Seymour Duncan P90s. Honestly, they were some of the worst I've ever heard in my life. They were very muddy, just way overwound, no dynamic range, no harmonics. It was just horrible, really muddy sounding and just ugh. Anyways, I got those out of there. Um, I ended up replacing them with a set of uh, vintage output Jason Lawler pickups. Big improvement, huge. Um, Loving the neck, big time. The bridge, uh, the bridge is a little tinny, a little harsh, so I went ahead and um, tried some different P90s in here, and I ended, I ended up getting a DiMarzio that I did a, a magnet swap. It, it, it stock, it had like half ceramic, half Alnico magnets, so I put um, just Alnico magnets in there, so more vintage style. And man, this pickup now matches this guitar perfectly. I'm very particular about bridge pickups, I have to sometimes go through, you know, half a dozen pickups before I find the one that fits the guitar specifically. And that is usually because the guitars are just different, different pieces of wood, different construction, whatever it may be. And sometimes the stock pickups just aren't cutting it. So anyways, that's the pickup situation. Custom DiMarzio on the bridge, Jason Lawler vintage output in the neck. Um, another mod or uh, thing that I did was I changed the knobs out. Uh, the stock guild knobs, uh, one of the knobs lost the G logo, so... It looked kind of dumb, so I just bought these off eBay. They're kind of cream to match the pickups. Um, I also replaced the tuning peg uh, heads with uh, some faux bone-looking plastic. And I st all the stock knobs and chrome uh, Grover tips will be included with the sale. The nut width is about 44 millimeters. The first fret thickness is about 0.89 of an inch. And then uh, at the 12th fret, it's just, just over an inch, probably, you know, you know, 1.02 or something like that. So it's pretty beefy neck. This guitar weighs only seven and about 7.25 pounds, um, which is fairly light because it is semi hollow. So picture it kind of like a ES335 style Les Paul. It's a little bit wider than a regular Les Paul. Won't fit in a standard Les Paul case, by the way. I did fit it in a Gretsch case, but I no longer have that case, so it'll be shipping with a gig bag, which is, I'll, pack, I'll double box it and I'll make sure it's really, really sturdy. So the guitar is in great condition, as you can see, with just some little superficial dings here and there, but nothing, nothing really, you know, nothing, nothing through the paint and, and, you know, it's just, it's nice. But the headstock was cracked at some point, and you can see on the front that the, uh, the crack, you can see like the raised little edge of the lacquer so it's it's apparent but if you look closely but other than that it's kind of a weird break because it actually broke backwards usually guitar necks they break this way so they open up in the back and they get glued together and the spring uh, the string tension's constantly pulling on the brake and it's a weird thing this actually split on the face and went back like this you know so it never actually opened up on the back but on the front it opened up but it looks like I got the guitar like this so I didn't do this but it looks, it's rock solid. I mean, it's not a, I mean, you can still see it in the front, you know, but you can't feel it. It doesn't affect anything on the playability of the guitar. It's completely uh, a non-issue. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. It's kind of an odd break. And also, the string tension actually pulls, a, you know, the break together, which is kind of opposite of what you would, you know, normally see with a Les Paul. Um, Rosewood board, frets have plenty of life in them. Um, I have this, Strong with 11s, tuned down a half step. I find that it plays really good like that. You'd probably be fine with 10s at standard pitch. But, you know, whatever. I mean, it's all personal preference, depending on how high or low you like your action. But, yeah, it's a great, a great, um, great guitar. And I'm not selling it because I don't like it or because it's not cutting it. It sounds killer. These pickups are raw. And you'll hear up next uh, what I'm talking about. This thing just rocks. But I'm selling it because I am purchasing another guitar. <laughs> and uh, this is one of the ones that has to go to make room for that one, financially speaking. And uh, all right, well, somebody's going to love this guitar. This guitar is awesome. So um, 
I hope it goes to a good owner. And without further ado, let's hear this bad boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 